Hello guys, I have a handbag video for you today. Not your typical unboxing where I'm super excited about a bag. I actually have a bag I thought I was gonna really like. She's cute, but she's not as cute as I thought she was gonna be. So this is the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. I don't know guys, <laughs> like I was really excited about this. I got it on sale. I want to shout out Karen. She's one of my subscribers. She actually emailed me about the sale and generously shared her Nordstrom essay with me. So that's how I knew about it. So I was like, sweet, I'm going to get this bag on sale, which I did. It was like 30% off. I actually did not get it at Nordstrom. It was sold out, but Saks had the exact same sale. So this is the size extra small and it's a super cute size. It fits like your essentials. Like you can fit a phone, a lipstick. Here's my phone. Well, kind of, it like, it fits, but like barely. But yeah, you can fit your essentials in here, but it's just kind of hard to get in and out of. So what I do like about this bag is I love the shape of it. I think it's a super cool shape. I love the price point of it. I think that it is pretty reasonable for a designer bag. However, they have been increasing the prices like crazy. I do like that you can get Balenciaga on sale. Like they just did a big sale and I do like that they come in multiple colors. So yay, I feel like they, they have a lot going for them, right? Well, I got the bag and I was just like, mm, I don't love it and here's why. It's a little too difficult to get in and out of. Like, as you can see, I open it and it like, maybe over time it like squishes a little bit more, but it just keeps wanting to close and it's a little too fussy. Like, I don't love that. Second, this size is a little too small for me. I don't love the way it looks cross body. I feel like it's just not as cute as I thought it was gonna be. I think maybe I would consider a bigger size. The size small version might be a little bit better. You can probably fit a little bit more in it. And I just don't feel like I can fit enough in this bag to justify the price. Now, I do think a mini bag is great to have in your collection. I love a diverse handbag collection. And I do have some bags that are smaller than this. But for this being the price that it is, which is still somewhat reasonable, but not as good as like, you know, those bags under $1,000, I feel like I should be able to fit more in it. I do like that it has a top handle and a strap, but I don't know. It's also maybe the color. I don't really love it. I wanted it to be a little more purple. It's more like a silver purple. I'm just not so impressed with it. And another thing, I feel like it's a very trendy, like Instagrammy bag. Like it looks so cute when you're, you know, you have your coffee and your little pretty Instagram photos, like taking a photo of it is cute or like just holding it is cute. It's cute for photos, but it's just not realistic in real life. And I'm not sure how long this type of bag is gonna stay in style. Like I feel like this bag is gonna get outdated very quickly. And I love a trendy bag, I do. There's some bags that I have that I know are trendy, but I love them so much and I don't care. And I think you should wear what you love, but I don't love this bag enough to buy into a trend. I would rather return this bag and invest in another like classic bag that I don't have, like a Lady Dior bag, I want one of those. Maybe a Chanel flap, I feel like even though those prices are insane, like a Chanel flap is never gonna go out of style. This bag, I don't know. I don't see it being a classic. And while I'm okay having some bags that are not a classic, for some reason, I'm not okay with this one. <laughs> I think it's because I, I'm not like blown away by it. Where the Bottega Veneta cassette bag, that bag is a little trendy, but I love it. I think it's a beautiful bag. It's well-made. It's all leather. It's like this Napa beautiful leather where this is just like, I don't know guys, like you could buy something like this on Zara. Like I'm just not impressed with it. So that's my two cents on it. You can agree or disagree with me, but I thought I would give an opinion out there on YouTube just in case you were on the fence about it like I am. So for me, it's going back. I'm gonna take it back this weekend. And yeah, at least I tried, right? <laughs> If you love handbag videos, I'm gonna leave another one right here so you can go check out that one next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.